Hey guys, I want to show you how to make 3D particle emitter fields. Um, it's just a couple of patches um, and a weird idea. Um, so I'm going to start off with particle system. I don't really need to see it on screen, so I'll just leave it there. Um, step one, I am going to turn off speed just so we can see exactly where the particles are spawning. Um, so, I mean, by default, I'm sure you're all aware, um, there's only four types of particle emitters. Um, but we're going to make a cube, um, a cylinder, and a sphere. So, I'm going to start with a plane. Maybe do like a 0.5. Bump up the emitter to like 50. So now we can see that's a plane. Um, and so to make a cube out of it, the idea is just that we're going to move it up and down um, really quickly. Um, so that way you won't be able to tell that it's moving up and down. It'll just appear to be in like a random position um, every time it spawns. So to do that, um, we're going to start with runtime. And that's just the current time like since the, the effect started. Um, nothing fancy. Um, and then we're going to put that into a sign patch. And the sign just oscillates um, between 1 and negative 1. So that's going to be our, our up and down movement. Um, so we're going to pipe this into a pack. Because we need to pack it into a transform vector 3. We're going to be moving on the y axis. So I'm piping it into y. And that's the general idea. Um, of course, value of one is like really big. So um, we're going to multiply by some value that we want to constrain. Um, so because it's one and negative one, there's a, a range of two. So we're going to cut that in half, actually. So the, the size of our plane is 0.5. Um, the emitter plane, the emitter surface. Um, so half of that would be 0.25. And that should give us a perfect cube. Um, so right now, you can tell, like, obviously it's moving in a very slow manner. Um, to make it move faster, we're just going to put in a multiply patch in between runtime and sign. So it makes it appear as if time is moving faster. Um, you can put in any old value. Doesn't really matter. Just really high value. Um, and that's pretty much it uh, for the cube. It's a little hard to tell that it's a cube shape. Um, so maybe turn it up. You can kind of tell. Anyway, if you want a cube, that's how you do it. Um, the exact same thing with a cylinder. You're just going to use a ring. Um, and the radius will be 0.25. Uh, so circular and flat. I don't know why you would want a, a tube, but if you do, there you go. Um, my favorite personal uh, thing to do with this is to make a sphere. Um, so we're also going to use a ring for that, except we're not going to set the position. We are going to set... Oh, I got the position again. We're going to set rotation. So we're going to rotate it. You can rotate it on like all axes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's a little bit more setup, or maybe not more, different. Um, because after we get the sign, we need that to be in degrees. Um, so we'll just do 180. <clears throat> so plus or minus 180. Oh, that's, what am I doing? Multiply. Plus or minus 180 is going to be like a th full sphere. So that's what we want there. Um, and then I don't know, just uh, put them all in. Um, 
Maybe it's rotating a little slowly. Now well, it's hard to tell. Um, so to if if you don't want like a full sphere, like full of particles, like maybe the sphere is centered around the head, and you want like some space around um, the user's like viewport, uh, that could be a good idea. So you don't end up with like giant particles like blocking the screen. It's not a good experience. Um, you can change the inner radius. So I'm gonna go with like 0.24. Um, and then you can really see like more of the, the spheriness. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this uh, is a neat tool for you. I'm sure you guys will make some cool stuff with it. I'm gonna put these project files on GitHub. It is going to be on my username under Spark partic Particle Fields. Um, if you have a couple of bucks, I wouldn't mind you throwing them my way. Hit that sponsor button. Um, subscribe on YouTube. 